Hey, what's up guys? Greg Jenkins here from MonkeyPod. And if you're watching this video, it's probably because you were on the Zapier Showcase webinar and you are looking for additional ideas for ways that you might use Zapier within your own business. Um, but I recognize that you might also be stumbling out of this video without having attended the webinar. So let me give you some quick context. Um, Zapier is a powerful tool. Um, I use it to connect Keep to all sorts of other programs and applications, but it is a just a robust and infinitely flexible tool, um, which can mean that some people struggle to like wrap their head around what it does and why it's so valuable. So um, the webinar that I referenced, the Zapier Showcase, was a panel of live um, presenters, each sharing one recipe from their business and how they depend on Zapier or how it makes their life easier. And the goal was to just you know, share um, strategies that, that we use in case it helps other people. Or if you're not a Zapier user yet, uh, to help give you some context for what this tool can do. Um, but I also had some submissions from individuals who couldn't attend the, the live webinar but wanted to share their own recipe as well. So the voice you're, and face you're about to see is my good friend Kat, um, who uh, has a business, Music Therapy Ed, that serves uh, music therapists, that helps train and educate music therapists. Um, and Kat uh, is gonna show off one of the recipes that she has deployed in her business that uses Zapier to automatically generate certificates when her customers complete courses uh, in her membership area. So um, that is the recipe, let's take a look. Hi, my name is Kat. I am not techie at all, but I'm hoping that I can help out. This is something Greg taught me and our team has implemented it so that we can send out automated certificates to anyone who completes courses on our website. The benefit is that it saved us $2,000 a year or something in um, a web merge app. And it also, I mean, it just makes everything so much easier. It, people get their certifi certificates over email in five minutes and it's very efficient. So I wanted to show you how it works. Basically, when the customer fills out a Google form, that Google form populates a spreadsheet and the spreadsheet tells Zapier, hey, there's a new spreadsheet row ding, 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 with the contact's uh, name and everything. So then that contact is given a tag, a, a trigger tag. And here's the trigger tag, finally valid, submitted. Then it lobs it back over to Zap and says, hey, this contact has uh, completed a row, completed a row in the spreadsheet. And so then what happens is, to make a long story short, there's this catch hook that's sent over, lobbed over from the campaign, the HTTP post, which is a catch hook that heads on over to creating a presentation from the template in Google Drive. You'll see these brackets are automatically filled out by certain fields within that contact. I know it's ugly. We have a pretty one. We just haven't implemented it, um, but that's beautiful and that's created. And then furthermore, um, furthermore, then we update the person in Infusionsoft. We give them this tag that pushes them forward in the campaign. And then there's this cool link, basically custom field here. And then that custom field is used in an email message to the user. I'm trying to find it. It's, you can't see the full link. so. Yeah, so that's where it goes into the certificate URL, which is a custom field within their um, within the contacts customers uh, customers account. And then, okay, when Zapier says, "Hey, in step two, hey, by the way, the certificate is ready," which is right up here, certificate ready, they move forward into the campaign. All these tags are removed so that everything's kind of cleaned up, and then they get thrown into this one certificate delivery. And this email says here you go and the cool thing is that it includes the link to the pdf from that google presentation um, and here it is so i'll show you do, 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 do. there you go that is the custom field from that was created isn't that cool and then of course if they didn't click the link in three days then they get it. Uh, they get another reminder email. Hey, don't forget to click that link to get your certificate. Now, a lot of people, some people go through our courses and they're like, I want to take them. I want to take five at once. Brrr, you know, so that's why we have to, when we actually say, hey, 
print this out. Click this link before you submit your next, next final evaluation. If you don't, then the link won't work anymore. Um, and so we give them that warning and sometimes it, it almost always works, but like 1% of people probably write in saying, Hey, you know, my link doesn't work and it's okay. We can recreate it and we can grab it from our drive and send it to them and it's no problem. So the cool thing is that we can see all this happening in their account, um, in the campaign history. And so we can see, Oh, you know, and, uh, did they, did they click the link? The other thing is a separate zap. We have a, a tag that is created for each customer whenever like per course we have 30 courses that we that we have on the website and so whenever someone finishes a course they get a special tag saying hey you know they received this certificate so once they click this link then they're thrown out of this campaign and this is a note from forever ago that we can probably delete so that's it i hope this helps i have a crying baby so i'm gonna go and thanks for watching <laughs> Okay, so that is the recipe for creating certificates using Zapier, using Keep, using Google Slides. Um, but if you don't use Keep as your email marketing engine, this could just as easily integrate with nearly any other platform, or you could deliver the certificate using a step in, in Zapier. So lots of ways to take this same concept and customize it for your own business. Um, if you found this useful, uh, or if you have ideas for how Cat could streamline it or make it more robust, uh, drop all of those in the comments below. Or if you know someone else who would benefit from this particular recipe or anything on the Monkey Pod channel here, please feel free to share this video or the others with them as well. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. Take care.